somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Avatar The Last Airbender. This yes. is season one, episode one called Ang. This is, of course, the new Netflix live action, as if I had to tell you. Like first time watch for me. And Oak, it, it feels like it's been months we've had to wait for a live action you adaptation know, of Avatar. We, Mason Quinn and I, came into the game late. We really loved it. And I mean, we it's, it's got to be at least six, eight months, something like that, that we have had to wait oh, the, painstakingly the just waiting to get a good live action version like can you i mean it's 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 upwards of uh maybe almost even closer to a year yeah answer you know i've been waiting a long time for them <laughs> to make amends for that horrible other live action we watched on this channel what that fun. you seem to enjoy and i wanted nothing to do with but i did it for you guys but i am definitely <laughs> ready willing and able to see my boy ang hopefully they don't call them stupid Ong or anything dumb like that, and they follow to the cartoon because I am definitely ready, willing, and able. That's right, it's twice, because it's twice as nice, so I cannot wait. So let's go! Up, let's go! Let's go! I'm, I'm so... I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, the music too! Cap Capital City. Oh, we got creatures right off the bat. What are those like possum chickens? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho. got our first taste of fire bending this quick. Yeah. Oh, he's an earth and bender. And some earth bending. Oh, ho. you know, I noticed the earth bending is really quick in this one. <laughs> earth bender. Hurry. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> You're going to start a war. Whoa! Holy oh, nice. Jesus! You know when they would do it in the cartoon, just hit different. Oh! Oh! You're too late. Your battle plans are already on their way to the Earth Kingdom. That means all eyes will be on the Earth Kingdom. All eyes but ours. Uh, I didn't know he was going to be in this. When your king receives those plans, he will redirect his forces to your borders and rally the support of the other nations. You, you wanted us to know. We aren't the real target. My sights are set higher. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Because it is our time. Oh, oh, oh! They never did that in a cartoon. Nope. A masterful ruse, your highness. The airbenders are not the threat. This is about one who lives among them. The only one who could possibly stand in our way. But the Avatar is yet to be revealed. Which is why we have to kill them all. Mm, that's his plan. Water. Earth. Oh, it's just like the cartoon, <laughs> huh? Fire. There's the goosebumps. For millennia, the four nations have lived in harmony. A peace made possible by the Avatar. They gonna show the one us? person with the ability to master all four elements and protect the delicate balance between nations. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> when one avatar dies, their spirit is reborn into a new body oh, nice. in they an eternal cycle. Them. Since the death of the last avatar, the new incarnation has yet to emerge. And so, Fire Lord Sozin believes this is his moment to conquer the world. His first step is to eliminate the one person who could stand in his way, an airbender, who may not be ready for the responsibility of becoming Oh, the Avatar. Oh, just... <laughs> what an intro. Oh, that intro was like, guys, we got this. It's okay. That's what, what that told an me. intro. Oh, my God. 
So I like how they're doing a different telling of the story. Like when the first episode, obviously in the cartoon, mm. and always in the air bubble. Yeah. Right here we're doing already. Hey, hey! All right, I already like it better now too. <laughs> they're saying "ang, ang." <laughs> That's pretty close to being able to fly. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> what? Monk Suta was looking for you. You skipped training again. It's all the same drills. You may be more advanced than the others. There's much you have to learn. There may come a day when you wish you'd spent more time with your teachers. Ooh. Go help set up for the Great Comet Festival. How many are coming? <gasps> Already? <laughs> <laughs> Where's, oh, where's wow. Appa? Come on, Egg. They're right up there. Did you tell him? It wasn't the right time. We don't have the luxury of waiting for the right time. I'm guessing this is in the past. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know that he's an avatar yet. Yeah. Or that's why it was... They're going to freeze him yet. Yep. But he is only 12. Fire Lord Sozin is planning to attack the Earth Kingdom. Aang is powerful. But there's much he still needs to learn about responsibility, expectations, sacrifice. He needs to know who he is. He could fail to be everything we need him to be. And he and the world might never recover from that. But it is not our place to choose who bears that burden. Aang must leave immediately to begin training in the other bending disciplines. I like the little twist on the story. Mm -hmm. Remember the last time I brought you here? When I got my tattoos? Most received their markings in the main hall, but I wanted you to receive yours in the presence of Yang Chen, the last air nomad to be the Avatar. When she died, the next Avatar was born into the following nation in the eternal cycle. So after Yang Chen's death, then Kyoshi of the Earth Kingdom. And then Moroku in the Fire Nation. Which means the next Avatar will once again be an airbender. You have always been special. I never asked to be special. But you are, you are the Avatar. Who's dropping it out? The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. Only the Avatar can save the world. The world needs you, Aang. You have to leave right away so you can begin training in the other discipline. Leave my friends? Leave home? Leave you? You're strong. Remember that. Because I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. I don't want the power. Which is why you will make a great avatar. Why do I have to be different? Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? Ugh. So you don't need to pretend about that. You will always be my friend. Uh, is that a comet? <laughs> yeah, I remember they're having the festival. Remember? Yeah, yeah, but I was just thinking of another Let's comet. Look at you. Is that a comet? Hey, Abba. <laughs> oh, wow. We're, we're barely into the first episode and we get Appa already. And wow, did they nail it. Gyatso says I'm supposed to be the Avatar. Monks don't even trust me to feed the baby bison. And <laughs> <laughs> I like to play air ball and eat banana cakes and goof off with my friends. That's who I am. Not someone who can stop a war. I don't want to leave. I don't want the responsibility. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. Look at the texture on the nose. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Oh, they even gave Op a little tear there. Oh, like. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. yip, yip. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, already light years above the other one. Yeah, I think that's a bit of an understatement. Yeah, that first 10 seconds was. <laughs> Remember, no survivors. Oh, oh, he's doing the Iron Man thing. Brothers and sisters, we're under attack. Oh, <laughs> nice. Whoa. Oh. oh. 
He's way up there. He's out riding on up in the yeah. middle of a storm. Yep. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, they never showed us this battle. No. <sighs> Whoa. I mean, how many times can you be amazed? It's getting kind of rough, Papa. Maybe we should hit that pool. Oh, no. Stay down. Oh. oh man yeah there's no easy way to show somebody taking hits from fire oh look at they even have the water like on the screen oh oh wow oh oh no you may have prevailed on another night, but not when we have mm -hmm. the power of the comet. Oh, that's what that's what I was referring to. Yeah. Oh! 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 I think Katara can get it. <laughs> We've been manning the wall in three-hour shifts, but it seems some of you can't be trusted to stay at your post. Two people at all times. <laughs> you need twice as many shifts. Okay, back to your duties. The fishing boats came back empty. It just proves if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, they just don't appreciate your incredible leadership skills. That's right, they don't realize it. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you were waterbending again, weren't you? Don't worry, no one could see me. Of course it matters. If anyone from the Fire Nation finds out you're a waterbender... No one from the Fire Nation has approached the village in years. An otter penguin could bend more water than I could. You should be helping out more around the village anyway. We're at war. Waterbending is what built our culture. Our way of life. Keeping it alive is our duty. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. I know that. And if Dad were here... But he's not here. I am. Oh. Tar. Soak later, paddle now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. Oh, oh no, no, no. That's not good. What is that? <sighs> there it is. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Just this says weird. <laughs> Giant ball of ice. Weird. Oh, oh, here they are. God, they did such a good job with I the mean, ships. With everything. Even Sokka looks just like the cartoon. They're right down to the jawline. I mean, it looks exactly. <laughs> huh. Oh, look at that. We know who that is. Ah! Yeah. Oh! oh! Finally. <laughs> Aang has come back. <laughs> Where's Appa? Why is he in there? <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. Nice, nice. We're not gonna die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not thinking of leaving him. Katara, a strange glowy iceberg just exploded <laughs> and left behind a mysterious little bald person. What part of that makes you think, great, let's bring him home. Sokka, he's just a kid. I'm just responsible for the safety of the village. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Your, there's their. Uh... Let me take a look. It can't be. This is an airbender. Airbenders don't exist anymore. We need to let them rest. I'm gonna shout out to whoever did costume design here. Yeah. The Water Tribe Village in the South Pole Territory. That's where we have to go. <laughs> ah, Uncle <Yes>. Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm imagining things? For three years, I've chased down every hint of the Avatar. And I'll keep doing it for another three years if I have to. Prince Zuko, I don't think your father would want you. My father has banished me until I find the Avatar, and that's exactly what I'll do. It's hard to see you get your hopes up every time you see a, a sign. Now let's have some tea. 
How long? How long before Uncle Arrow asks for tea? Perhaps it's time to consider that the throne isn't everything. It may not have been for you, but for me, it's my destiny. Mm. Oh, even, oh, look at that. Uh, oh, I thought maybe his robe would be on her hope chest. <laughs> what did I say about keeping your guard up? He could be the enemy. The enemy? I'm in. How did I get here? You tell me. Appa! Where's Appa? Have you seen him? That's not strange at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the whistle. Have you seen Appa? My sky bison? Sky bison. Repeating <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah! oh, he got out. God, the sound design on Appa. Yeah, it's so, perfect. So good. <laughs> Sky bison. The weather went crazy just after I left home. The Southern Air Temple, where the air nomads live. Most of them had just arrived for the Great Comet Festival. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed oh, no. when the Fire Nation attacked. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Everyone in the village knows this story. But you don't, do you, young man? Just as you don't know that airbenders haven't been seen in generations, and that the Southern Air Temple was the first to fall. Oh, so this is quick how he did that. The last time that the Great Comet was seen in the sky was 100 years ago. He is the last airbender. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh. Is there something you want to say, Lieutenant Jean? No, sir. Our mission is vital to the future of the Fire Nation. We will prove ourselves worthy, or we will die trying. Are you okay? A hundred years. They're all gone. One. I'm, I'm sorry. When I was little, I didn't really understand the war until the night the Five Benders came. They destroyed everything in their path. Everything. Afterwards, our father set out with the other warriors to hunt down the Five Benders. That was three years ago, and we haven't seen them since. We were never really ready. Until we have to be. Oh no! Don't go in there. They were part of the Fire Nation's first attacks on the Water Tribe. Water Benders are still fighting back. Especially in the north. And the Earth Kingdom is still holding strong. I had friends in the Fire Nation. No one visits other nations now. Only friends with their own kind. I need to be at my best when I face the world's ultimate warrior. They say Avatar Kyoshi took down an entire squadron of Earth Kingdom soldiers single-handedly. Well, you certainly prepared enough. Now, how about a nice cup of jasmine tea? Yes! <laughs> Say we find the Avatar and you're able to defeat him. And so your return home may be... You're wrong. You're a waterbender! Sokka doesn't like it when I practice because he's worried that the Fire Nation will find out and there's a reason. I'm the only waterbender left in the village. Uh... They've killed all the others. The monks told me bending is about energy and balance. There she goes. There she goes. It's her. Oh, no. Sokka, the Fire Nation, they're... I know. Sokka, the racks... Get them loaded. After all this time, what could they possibly want? Him. Mm hmm You are the Avatar. <laughs> they said Quinn's getting the goosebumps over there. You need to go hide. Saka, I want to. Katara, now. Come on, we need to get somewhere safe. I am Prince Zuko, firstborn son of Fire Lord Ozai. We merely seek someone who does not belong here. Where is he? Saka, you can't do this. You can't give him to. He them. doesn't belong here. But remember what Mom told us too. She said that we have to protect those who can't protect themselves. Sokka, don't you see? He's the Avatar! And he lied to us about it. But there's more to being a leader than just catching fish. You have to give people something to live for. 
That's what the Avatar is. He's hope. Yeah! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Answer can't control himself over here. On behalf of the Water Tribe Village of Wolf Cove, I demand that you leave immediately. Let's sell this between us. Leader to leader. We overpower them. It's no contest. Well, where's the glory in that? Accept. Oh boy. Here we go. Who needs an army now? Oh. Leave him alone! <laughs> <laughs> rocks, rocks and snowballs. Oh, oh, right in the mush. I didn't get hit in a jaw with a rock the size of a softball. Burn the whole place to the ground. No. I'm the one you're looking for. Get him. Wait. No one has ever fought for me before. I think you're the bravest person I've ever met. They made these ships look just like <laughs> out of the TV show, didn't they? I mean, exactly. I saw some real sloppiness out there today. Drills? And don't let the younger ones push you around. You're in charge. Let's go save that weird kid. I am so. I would have liked the more drawn out that they did in the cartoon where he's like, where she's pleading her case, but that was good too. There are many who never imagined this day would ever come, myself included. I am Iroh, son of Fire Lord Azula. Why did the Fire Nation start this war? Some people say it is within our nature to expand and consume. Others believe that true stability in this world can only happen under our rule. Peace comes from respecting life, not killing and destroying. For most of us, it doesn't matter how this war started. It only matters how it can end. And the belief is that by capturing you, the Fire Nation can finally bring that about. Is that what you believe? Ooh, calling him out. I must leave. <laughs> but I look forward to many more conversations <laughs> with the Avatar. In the meantime, I'll have some jasmine tea sent to you. <laughs> of course. Jasmine tea. Just oh. lifted his keys off him. Yeah. Just like that. No problem. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience. It won't be easy to catch them. I know. Hopefully you can find a swift current. We could go another way. <laughs> you're not serious. There's a no way you're getting me on that. <laughs> uh, yeah. That felt like it was right from the cartoon. Right from the cartoon, yeah, with his face and everything. They're definitely doing some fan service. Some fan service. Wow, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's been nonsense. <laughs> the avatars. That's all you need, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Ah, he's too far away already. Whoa, he's throwing a super fireball at him. Dive. Oh, get it. Oh, oh what a save. Sokka. Don't you dare. What was that? It was Katara. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's tell me show those flameheads they can't just step all over us. You know, the firebenders aren't going to give up. They're going to keep coming after you. Which means we can't go home. It would put everyone in danger. <laughs> it's, it's scary how much he looks like the cartoon <laughs> character. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. oh my god, almost almost the exact same. It would be a huge burden for anyone. But you're not just anyone, eh? In kind. And generous. Always remember who you are. Yeah, that's oh, what I was wondering. Oh, He's like going to the Avatar state. Yes, intense. I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. 
You are my friend. You will always be my friend. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Mm -hmm. Especially if he doesn't. I mean, that's the first time since he's woken up that he's really. Yeah, he's getting hit with all this yeah. at once. So not to be rude, but what was that? I don't know. Lungs are gone and I'm all alone. The thing about losing everything is that that's when you learn how strong you really are. They made the ultimate sacrifice for me. I need to follow through on what they wanted me to do. Complete my training and master all the other bending skills so I can bring balance back to the world. Oh, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> it's only after we've lost something that we realize how much it means to us, how we do anything to get it. Oh. I don't know where this will all lead, but the one thing I do know is I'm the Avatar. And this is just the beginning. Oh, yes, it is. End scene. Oh, and then they <laughs> ended with this, the music. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Obviously, think, no post credit. Yeah, I don't think credit, we'll be doing post credit scenes. Oh, I can't believe they even. Have, yeah, have they have even. Next time, we don't want to see it. No, we don't. All right, answer as the biggest <laughs> uh, fan amongst us. Why don't you go ahead and um, kick this thing off? So yeah, so way different retelling of obviously of how we met Avatar and met Aang and how they got with uh, Katara and, and uh, Sokka. But I really like how they did it with who? Uh, Katara and so Sokka. So there you Sokka. go. So Sokka. So We're all so, so up. excited. Um, but yeah, so excited. so like how they did it. Obviously, in the cartoon is you know they found him in the ice, you know, and he had the little battle and battle on the ship. That I thought he was gonna send off the alarm in the ship. That's why I was like, no, don't go there. But it was so Katara could do some water bending, obviously, and then uh, so like the whole retelling of it where they did it more chronologically was actually I kind I liked it because. I watched the cartoon before these guys had, so I had to, I had to wait for them to get into the backstory, which took you know a few a, a few minutes, you know, to get into that whole backstory where he sees Gyatso and you know has his big meltdown because that's the first time he's in the Avatar state, really, except for a little bit in the first episode. But yeah, the way they did it, the, having some of the music in there, which was great, they went a little bit, I would say darker so they're not as cartoony as a cartoon which is nice because you have to remember the biggest fans of these might have watched them when they first came out so they're 20 years older or well 15 years older yeah so maybe they they wanted to be a little more grown up they still have Sokka with some of his you know <laughs> oh wow well, that that's it you know yeah. and his not getting on the oppa which i was so happy to see that they brought that they uh, like i'm gonna steal this before oh can say it they brought justice to appa he looks amazing <laughs> looks way better than he who we not <laughs> shall call he who we shall not, not name, name. Yep. so this episode is a great start off point i mean like without not as much jokey and like this but iro still pushing the jasmine tea, jasmine tea loving that the way that everybody looks and everyone dressed is top notch you can tell they really thought this through and really put a lot into it didn't want to just get yeah hey coming out with this uh avatar thing maybe maybe it'll be all right no right now they're knocking it out of the park and this is only the first episode and i cannot wait to dive into more and more episodes and i was hoping that they would end the episode with you know, one of his other little friends, but maybe the next episode we might we might find him. But I can't wait for the adventures to keep going on and how they twist it ever so slightly. Yep. We saw right off the bat, earth bending, way better. Mm -hmm. Fire bending, way better. A little bit of water bending, so they kind of teased us a little bit with that. And so, so far, and the air bending has been amazing. So, so far, I'm, I'm in love with it. I love it so far. I see. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, right off the bat, I'm not even going to mention... Now or ever going forward, I, I'm not even going to bring up the live action movie because I think it's fair look, enough. Everybody's fair had enough. their ribs at it and their jabs. I don't even think it's worth comparing to that. Yeah. So right. I'm not even going to mention that personally. But this story, like, I think Netflix is really onto something because we saw it with One Piece and now we're seeing it with this. And I think maybe a few years back, I think maybe Netflix was maybe going for a quantity of things that they were pushing out. And now it seems like when they get a project that has a lot of 
original, um, like it, it's an IP or it's got some real history to it and something they can really sink their teeth into and they know there's there's fans there for it, I think they really throw the money at it and put the effort into it to make it really good because between One Piece and this, I mean, folks, we are being so incredibly spoiled right now. That <laughs> opening scene, to me, that opening scene was to put people at ease. They had all the fire bending and the earth bending was just absolutely wicked. I, I loved how they did that. And to me, and I don't know if it made the cut, but the way I took that as was, don't worry, we got this. It's going to be fine. You're going to love it. And granted, it was just a fight scene in an alley, but with the bending mm. and the fights, I thought it was really good. We have a crew of amazing actors who I have no, no worries whatsoever that they're going to be able to convey the story. And again, we talked about this on a number of other uh, shows that we did where whenever you have younger actors, uh, there can be a risk there. Of are they going to be able to pull it off? But I would say in the last 10 years or so, the younger actors that are out there and the casting agents who are able to find them, they're finding just some real quality and really talented individuals to pull off all these shows. And there's been a number of them that we've done. I'm sure you're all fans of them. So all that being said, I am completely ready to take the ride on this one. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to have fun. I loved how we had our core three right off the bat and Katara and Sokka. Mm -hmm. They all did their job great. They all looked perfect. The The bending was great that Katara was doing. And again, no worries there. Seeing Uncle Iroh was great. I loved the scene where Aang was asking him, you know, how do you feel about it? Is that the right thing to do? And, and Iroh knows it isn't, but he can't obviously convey that yet. So I really like what we're seeing out of Iroh. The costumes, the set design are all absolutely incredible. I don't know what the budget is of this. I'm sure we're going to look it up uh, as we're going through the review here. But look, it takes some cash to pull this off, and they definitely did. Uh, also, it's been a long time. Well, okay, I say that half-jokingly, that it's been a long time since Oak and I have been through the story. But we've been watching a ton of stuff, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I remember everything that happened in the animated series so long ago that we did it so a lot of this it feels new-ish to me like I, I know where it's going right I know it's going to happen but a lot of the smaller details I don't exactly remember so that's going to be a lot of fun to go through and if I think if I just have one word to kind of sum everything up here before I kick it over to Oak it's excitement I have excitement for this series you did you did notice a couple little things though which I was proud of yeah, proud yeah of there's definitely a few little proud. things but you know it's been a minute we've watched oh, a yeah, ton of yeah. stuff so answer can you pull up the IMDB with the casting images just like our boy Diamond Dave does. Just the uh, IMDb that actually has oh, the images next yeah. to the cast. Um, you know, I think Mason Quinn hit the uh, hit the nail on the head with saying, I really feel like that opening scene was to really set the tone, like the special effects, the bending, the action, the way everything is shot. We're going to do, you know, we're going to do this right. And, and, and it absolutely felt that way. Um, unlike Mason Quinn, I am going to bring up the live action because no. let's look like, no, in, in all fairness, let's not forget M. Night Shyamalan is incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And it's not like it had a small budget. It's not like he's not a talented director because he is, he's got wonderful, multiple, wonderful pieces. It's just the way they imagine that story. I think they got away from serving the fans. I think you have a cat, a, a crew whether it be M. Night Shyamalan or the producers or the studios or whoever said, oh, let's let's try this or let's try this. And it's like the fans loved the animated series and we loved the animated series um, because of everything that it was. And what happened is you watch this, this film and it got so far away from what it was supposed to be. And that was so frustrating. Um, to me. And so when we saw the first trailers for this, it, it they, they gave you enough to feel like, okay, it's going to be, it's going to be okay. Right? Like it's going <laughs> to be, it's, it's going to be all right. And so can you scroll down a little bit? Who was the original, the original fire Lord, the actor's name that they showed right in the be in the beginning? Oh, I can go to the first episode. Um, yeah, just see, um, 
Yeah, and the only reason I brought up the the of not talking about the live action was because I wanted, and, and that's good that you're doing it on this episode. Right. I just didn't want it to turn into like a bash fest. No, and, where and all we do is talk right, about and, that. And, and, and I think that's this. important. Hero Kanagawa, um, he's he's been in so much. When they had him as uh, as as Fire Lord Souls, and I was like, okay. That's that's cool. This guy's been in a ton, and he's a really good actor as well. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, I, the reason I bring it up is just because it's not like there was a shortage of money. It's not like there was the, there wasn't the um, the technology to make things look cool. It's just I think they got away from what the fans really wanted. And the studios, and that and, and that happens sometimes. You get the like, oh, we're gonna tell this story, but we're gonna reimagine this and, and try something different with this and. We're going to go completely sideways with casting to make it super unique. And it's like, yeah, yeah but don't you think the fans would just want what they what they love? Yeah. You know, not everything has to be reimagined, you know, and, and this felt like they're like, we're going to take this story and we're going to leave it as is. And granted, look, we've got seven more episodes to go. So That's it. <laughs> whether it's whether it's going to be different from the original. But how about we... I think the neat thing about taking um, an animated show and putting it into live action is that you visualize it with people. That is the cool thing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to retell the story. We Instead of watching it with animation, we literally want to watch the exact same thing just with people and real effects. And it feels so far like that's what they're doing here. The fire bending was incredible. The earth bending was beyond incredible. He's putting his hand in the ground and the yeah, ground is shaking. Sweet. It comes yeah. up. The earth bending was great. They gave us air bending very, very early on with Aang, um, who's very advanced with his air bending earlier on, obviously. Hey, he, missed, um, he was missing <laughs> he was missing yeah. tutorials. You know, yeah. they um they they gave us a little bit of water bending um with Katara. And the, the, you know, the, the the fight scenes were really good. I think the the casting, and we said this multiple times, if you missed our our reacting to the trailers, the casting is spot on. The casting is is spot on. And and we discussed this a little bit with the live action. We discussed it with the trailers that it is it, it, it is made very clear in the animation that the Fire Nation, and I think everybody can agree, is is, is representative of Japanese culture um, at, at very at very minimum Eastern Asia. We, we can say that. And so when they went with a Persian cast, very talented actors. Look, the live action, very talented actors. We love some of the guys that were in the live action. Jasper. But it does. It, it did, I'll get to that. <laughs> it, it didn't. It, it it didn't. It didn't fit. And then of course Katara, and and Sokka, as you could guess by the water tribes, were um were supposed to be representative of of Inuit people, and they just got like Jasper from Twilight, like the whitest kid you could get and it was like this isn't this isn't what the fans fell in love with and you know I, look am i gonna harp on this every episode absolutely not i promise moving forward it's not gonna be this let's talk let's bring up the live action so that's i, I understand yeah, yeah. why mason quinn yeah. is saying yeah, this I, I'm the same but way. i think yeah. in this first episode it's important that we talk about it i know not everybody who's watching this saw our trailers and not everybody who's watching this maybe saw us do the animated series or the live action. So for this very first one, I, I do want to touch on it because it was a big deal for fans. And it, you know, I I was shocked. Seriously, when we got done with that, and they were everybody was like, "Don't watch the live action." And I was like, "Oh, really? Is it that bad?" And the answer was like, "Dude, it's bad. Nothing prepares you for how bad that is." And it's so refreshing as a fan to come in and to see something like this. The special effects are perfect. The casting is perfect. It's pretty much Appa's perfect. Op, okay, oh. Appa. I was gonna get there. You just it's gonna it's gonna be my big finish. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll that fan. part out. Uh, no, we won't. This is no, all no. magic works. No, no. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, and then so there's a hole in the hat. Thank you, Quinn, for uh, stealing my thunder a little bit. Appa. Rabbit was in the hat the whole time. V very few times in the history of cinema and television. Has a character been done dirtier than Appa in the live action remake? And they absolutely nailed it. But again, I think they knew fans wanted a good Appa and they delivered. I mean, do you guys, when you're watching this, and, and I'm being honest, I, I don't I have zero 
nitpicks as of this point. It's not even no, like, no. oh, I like this and this, and this could have been better. I have zero nitpicks. Yeah, none for me, and especially wanted to give a shout out to the the sound and the mm -hmm. the audio effects that they had on this. The sound of Appa was great, and especially wearing headphones, it's a huge difference. See, the, the, the I mean, it's not even it's not a nitpick per se, but it's like. It is like because they crammed a bunch of episodes in one, but they have to. I mean, it's still, you still got an hour. So instead of one book getting put into one and a half hours long, this is, this was probably, this was several books put into one episode. That would be my only thing, just because, you know, when you have all those little episodes, you can have the funnier jokes and stuff like that. Like when he throws Zuko in the bed up against the wall in the first episode where you guys were laughing your ass of that, where he's whapping away the uh, uh, so Soka's freaking thing. Sokka's, God damn it. Sokka's it's, no, it's, it's, a re it's a real trouble, though. And I, I, I but, myself So that, 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 that would have been about it. But other than that, I love what they've done so far. I've loved their reimagining of it. I love their way they're still telling the stories. I love, like you said, the sound, mm -hmm. the the animation the cgi just everything has been spot on for me so far so yeah other than like yeah of course i would want it elongated because you know but i didn't mind the 68 episodes right. or whatever it was yep. to watch all of them and didn't mind the side quests but you know it's, that's not always did everyone's it, cup of tea but it, to me I, other than that it was i thought it was great it, it did great, I, I a great introduction honest, it doesn't it didn't feel like cgi well, yeah, that's no, when yeah, CGI yeah. is good. Yeah. When it doesn't feel like oh, CGI. CGI, you thought like you were. For all, for all, you know, we know. I, I know they didn't. I know there is CGI. But for all you know, they had propane piped <laughs> up their sleeves. <laughs> That'd be safe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this might be a safety concern. But the the earth bending and the fire, the, even when he put his hand in the ground, the way they made the ground shake, and you could see like the gravel and the ground and stuff shake. When, when you watch something like this, and you don't even have to, it's not even like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out of reality and I have to imagine, and I'm gonna have to use yeah. my imagination and watch this. It doesn't even feel like that. It feels like you're watching the actual bending which is absolutely incredible yeah, even with the air bending which i was afraid might be a little bit of a challenge to show mm -hmm. the way they no. did it by showing um i'm not sure what it's called maybe you guys can help me out but you know like when you look in the horizon you see like the heat coming off something oh, you, like you, you the get, little like, grainy that, air you get that like haze or whatever and i like how they did that with the air bending where they kind of uh, unfocused the the camera a little bit yeah, or whatever I, I know, you might call I, it where it looks like there's like heat coming well, off what it feels they're, what they're it feels like the, I, I get it feels like there's almost like um, atmospheric disturbance like when they're yeah. moving throughout air mm -hmm. uh, it's not just like they put somebody in front yeah. of a green screen it would look cheese and move they did them that. Yeah. when they they're moving it feels like there's disturbance yeah. in the airspace around them yeah. which yeah. makes it feel very because which is yeah. nice is because like they showed with their fighting mix miss uh, mixing mixed martial arts with you know their air bending their fire bending and so it's so flawless the way like they're doing a leg sweep but there's the air just going to knock them all down which they did which, in the, which and they did in the cartoon yeah. and a big oh, yeah. shout out to um the young man who plays Oops. um prince zuko i mean um dallas um lou um it, he he looks like he had to do some serious martial arts training if he wasn't already involved mm -hmm. in any sort of martial arts for this show because he was doing some kicks and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I liked mm -hmm. how they had him. He had to send a fireball a little bit further, so he had, had to really, kind of build it up, really mm -hmm. worked yeah. it up. Um, the comedy from um, from Saka, I think, was great. That was one thing that was really, really missing um, from the last casting, and something as simple as why would. When you have an animated series, and, and answer, it's messed me up, honestly. Like, and, and drop a comment below if after watching the animated series, after watching the live action, it throws you off because it has thrown me off. And there's been times I've been having conversations with people. Look, look at us. So there's times <laughs> I'm talking and I'm saying Ang, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, it's Ang, it's Ang, Soka, Saka, and I'm like, I watched all 96 episodes yeah. or whatever yeah. it was, 94. Yeah. And I'm like, I should know this, but the, you know, the, 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 the live action just lives rent free in your head. <laughs> so you say it wrong. So there's a couple of times where you were like, you know, uh, like you're trying to say the right Saka, name Saka, and you're Saka, just, Saka. you're just messed up. But wow. I just, I, I'm so excited. Like, I'm like, I'm like, ge oh. like genuinely, there's just genuinely, there's like this, like, Dumb, happy, relieved. Yeah. I was. We were Relief all pretty relieved with the trailers, but 
You we never know. Can be deceptive. We, mm-hmm. Mason Quinn and I watched a show where the trailers looked pretty well, it's good. The best part. <laughs> the trailers looked pretty good. And sometimes we, they're the best part, and the rest of the show doesn't deliver. They give you everything in the trailers. This is going to be great. And then the story comes out. You're like, the trailer was great. <laughs> you know, we've, we've episode all been two, there. three, and yeah. four. We, we, uh, the trailer was great. We've all been there. We've seen a great trailer, and then the movie is like, oh, all the best parts were in, in the trailer. The trailer. So. Absolutely not the case here. I'm genuinely yeah. excited. I am so excited to keep watching this with these two, with you guys. It was so much fun reliving the animated with those two, and so now I'm genuinely excited to watch it with you guys and these two. So, with that being said, that's Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn, and I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. I can't wait.